Hey guys, you got lightning here back at you with another video. Um <coughs> I know I haven't released a video in a while, but I just um have had a lot going on recently, especially with work and family and that sort of thing. So anyway. Um for this video this is patch seven point two one. Um playing karma support, if you guys don't know, I play a lot of support as well. Um and karma's probably my second favourite champion to Aurelia, so pretty high up there. Um, flash the level 7 emote. Um, <coughs> so let's go through the team, right? So we've got Shen, Israel in the jungle, um, Syndra, Kate, and myself. Bursting Zyra, Ash, Fizz, Chugar, Pantheon. Now, with 7.21, Ardent meta is basically dead. Um, you'd still, you can still buy Ardent sensor as a support but um supports won't be rushing this item and if they do they're just delaying well they're they're not getting an optimal build path by building ardent support ardent sensor first item anymore especially with the rush now i think supports will build um <coughs> more towards a sight stone early vision and then into things like um locket redemption um mikhail's that sort of thing ardent maybe third item is still good still you know still use it but it's not viable for a rush anymore, so I just thought I'd showcase this game. It's the first Karma game I've played in a while. I've been playing like normals, um, <laughs> just like random shit, and it's been quite fun. Um, haven't really had enough time to play ranked and catch up with the meta and that sort of thing, so. Anyway, right, level one, reversing Zara. Support mages are coming back. That's the way the meta's gonna go. Now, with Karma, you can trade really well level 1 if you hit your Q. Q auto will give the extra damage from your, um, what do you call it? A support item. What do you call it? What's it called? Spell Thieves. Um, Kate take too much damage here. We hit level 2. So I'm just going to try and keep the pressure so my ADC can farm. And Zara's a pain now. She's going to keep trying to, um... She's going to keep trying to stun and get her plants to go off, try and get a lot of damage on us. I don't have any magic resist myself. I've only got um, health health and AP and armor. That's all I've got. As you're going ham and in invading the jungle, it's really, 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 really good. I'm just trying to keep pressure up as much as I can. I shield Kate when I see Zyra face Kate. I shield Kate. So Kate can get a really good trade on Desira and not take as much damage herself, right? Still getting my Qs under Ash. And right now it's about who who runs out of pots first. So let's have a look. I've got two pots left. I'm running a more damage aggressive, really aggressive early build um, in my masteries, and Zyra's obviously running the standard support sort of support mage build. <coughs> so she's only got one pot left. I've got two. But I'm running out of mana. That's the problem with Karma early. You just you're so aggressive, so you, you just run out of mana. It's <laughs> so shit. But um, <coughs> she could take over the lane quite easily, especially especially with um Jana the Jana nurse. Um, because with the Jana nurse that takes away like Tristana, who can be a real pain in the ass. Um, <coughs> because Jana can't protect her as well early, if that makes sense. So so Karma it makes Karma and burst like uh support mage is way more viable that's why this guy's playing Zyra he's, he's up with the meta so good on him <coughs> but I think Karma's gonna make a real comeback especially in, in higher elos because Ardent Sense is still really good in certain situations with like um, you know when you can shield multiple people and get that Ardent buff on the whole like the whole team like Karma can or Sona or even Jenna with her with her ult I guess even if you buy like a locket and get on with five people, um, like Baron or something, you know, that's really, really good, give, giving everyone that buff, that's attack speed steroid. I mean, late game it's still 30%, so, I mean, you can still take objectives, like, insanely fast. But I think Karma's going to make a really big comeback. She's been really, um, she's sort of gone a bit unnoticed lately because, like, you know, like Janna, Lulu, They've all, they've all taken over her. Even even Sona. Sona's still really, really strong with um with, with Ardent as well. Although I wouldn't recommend Ardent for a rush on Sona. But Kama's 
it's been one of my favorite picks for a long, long time, um, especially in support. Um, even since I first played Karma, oh, I just I can just never get enough of her. But um, I think watch out for Karma, especially if, if you're like an ADC player um, or even a support player. Watch out for watch out for Karma. Watch out for um, like support majors like Brand and Zyra. Those are the those are the two key ones I'll be watching out for. Uh, Brand also got a buff this patch um, where he gets mana back on. Um, oh wait, it's not really gonna affect support, is it? Because it's more of like you, if you kill minions with your burn. <coughs> So maybe not maybe not brand too much. That shouldn't affect the, the bot lane too much, but you'll probably see him around along with Zyra. Uh back in here. What gold do we have? Haven't used this thing in a while. So back with twelve hundred gold. That's really good. What did I buy? Yeah, so I upgraded my um thing to a frost queen's is that what it's called? Frost her fang or whatever. Got the got a refillable. I don't want to spend, uh, since I don't have biscuits or anything, I don't want to spend, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars on bloody pot. Well, that would be stupid, but if I get a refillable on my first back, it just means I don't have to buy any pots later, because Zara, you know, she does poke down quite well, so. This is the most gold efficient thing to do. Just build a ref uh, refillable. I uh, get a refillable, sorry. So Kate should have backed before, but she didn't. I don't know if she had enough for. So she had enough for BF the whole time. Oh wait. Oh, okay. She had enough. She's got a, a bit, a bit more than enough for BF now. But I wish she would have backed a bit earlier. But she wouldn't have got BF, so that's probably why she stayed. I thought she would have had it to be honest, but um, I guess not. So that's unfortunate. So I'm just gonna last it. I'm letting the wave push. I'm not gonna steal all the CS like some fucking idiot. I'm just gonna let it push in. See, he's got five, six, five minions to my, you know, one now. So. The waves, it's going to keep pushing into into my, my ADC. All the CS here is a CS that Ash is losing. So Kate, Kate really didn't lose a lot because the Kate, the gold that Kate's not getting, I'm, I'm getting. Well, <laughs> just missed the CS, but you know. Um, now speed her up to make sure she can get the CS. Check out the CS difference on the Ash. Yeah, see 47, so she need, she really needs a CS. Ash has been CSing, you know. Um, not amazing, but um, better than my ADC. Get some mega good damage on that Ash man, fucking get wrecked. Um, see with the support item and and the the runes that I run is um um just flat AP reds, was it magret pin reds? Uh, anyway, flat AP uh, flat armor, uh, armor seals, uh, AP glyphs and AP. Uh, oh sorry, armor armor reds, HP seals. AP glyphs and AP Clint's. Yeah, that's what I run on Karma. Just a really strong early game, and the health helps about um, helps against like magic burst against magic damage. So it's really, really, really good for early, for early. And then you sort of scale with the items that you buy, not so much the the masteries. Because right now with my masteries and like my runes, I've got um, in my masteries I've got like the damage tree, so it's like twelve eighteen zero. So. I go the damage, mostly just damage, ability power damage, and that sort of thing, uh, in the in the first tree, and then in the second tree, you go the eighteen with the wind speakers, right, and the cooldown reduction, and bandit, and the biscuits and that. Well, normally I go biscuits. I don't know why I haven't in this case, but we're definitely dealing a lot more damage than Zara. She hasn't gone. It doesn't look like she's gone a, like a damage heavy um, runes of mastery setup, because we haven't really been. We haven't really been punished by her. I thought, you know, being Zyra and I'm Karma, even though I can sort of kill her plants quite well with my Q, uh, I thought I was going to take a bit more of a punishing, or my ADC was at least as well. But that wasn't the case, so that's pretty good, you know. Uh, me and Kate really got to get the pressure on this tower. So, you know, we've almost, we've almost got the tower already. Um, you look at the top, like, our tower's still standing, our mid tower hasn't been touched. And I mean, look at bot, our tower. <laughs> it's, full health you know so that's a massive uh advantage right there the fact that Ezreal and Syndra came down was just really good rotation by them um you know seeing that that was the objective in the game to get right so then I just come and um heal us all it doesn't give us an attack speed steward because I don't have Arden but that's fine it gives us a shield and now we can all back get rid of some vision vision's a key thing in this game now um especially now that Ardent um 
now that Arden, uh, you know, is, is basically dead, so I get vision. Uh, I should get vision here with my back. How much gold do I have? Oh, I just bought like how much gold. Ah, uh, what am I going for? Uh, I'm going for a chalice. Okay, so ah, oh, things. Sorry. Um, I saw things in Holy Grail. Let's talk about that. Uh, personally, I think that item is um basically overpowered. Um, since ardent is ardent meter is, is dead. Um, you know, chalice will be coming back in. I think. Um, you'll see a lot of sonas picking up chalice. Who else does damage? Um, with heals. I don't know. I get. I think like sona karma as well. Oh shit! Sorry guys, I'm not even on the on my champion. Um, yeah, Sona, Sona and Karma are the ones, the two that come to mind because they both have like heals and they they can deal with damage, right? So, um, the way it works is, um, well, from my understanding, the way it works is the pre mitigation damage. So that's damage dealt before armor and magic resist and damage reduction is taken into place, right? So, say. My Q does deals like 100 damage, for example. Um, I get that many stacks, I guess. And then, based on the amount of stacks, it gives me extra extra healing on my E. If that makes sense to, to use the stacks. That's 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 how I understand it. Um, and and based on that, you know, it's it's if we assume that that's how exactly how the item works, then that's you know it's basically an OP item. So that's what I'm going to be building most games now on 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 Karma. Oh, get the flash out of Pantheon. Um, just because it's it's so fucking strong. Um, I fucking oh my god, I, I flash held because I was like, what the fuck is Israel's gonna die? I thought he's just like one Q away from killing Pantheon. Next minute, me and Shen, you know, Shen ults at the same time as I, you know, heal. But I accidentally fucking click flash. Oh my god. Oh well. Shit happens. Okay, so back to the things. Um uh, the the fact that you get magic resist. Okay, magic resist. Ability uh yeah, so thirty ability power, thirty magic resist, ten percent cooldown. This kid's too fucking aggressive, man. Like why do you need to dive the Zyra? Like fuck I got no fucking mana. But um, you know. If you want to blow all of your sums for, for a kill on the support, that's cool. And now we've got no sums to get away from this, so I have to give my life for this fucking idiot. This is the life of support, man. Like, this is how annoying it can be. Because I had to give my life. Because I had to give my life. Because she wanted to use all of her sums to kill a support. And we didn't get the tower. That's what I mean, you know. That's the struggle these days, you know. And people just don't realize that, you know, there's no point in fucking when your support has no mana. Why, why are you gonna dive the tower to kill their support, the support Zyra, uh, and not not get the tower? I, w I wanted the tower. That's why we rotated top, you know. Just stupid shit like that. P pretty annoying when you're playing support, you know. Carry your bloody. Dog ADC. This guy was pretty good though, given that. Just um, I mean, just too aggressive and funny decisions. That's 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 what I was thinking through the game. Anyway, back to the things. I'm gonna talk about this item a lot. So you get the ability power, magic resist, thirty of each, ten percent cooldown reduction, and the passive on the things you get. Um, I think it is five ability power for every twenty five percent base mana regen that you have. And through the um, Athenes itself, you get 100% mana, bonus mana, base mana regen. And also, don't forget through uh, your support item, you get the same. And through... What's another item? Does Redemption have it? I can't remember. There's another item that also gives it. So, you get another... You, you can get like another 60 to 70 AP from from Athenes itself, right? So, 30 plus 70, you know, it gives like 100 AP. So, it's really good for your shields and because you're always dealing damage at some point in the team fight right you you can always get some damage off and then get bigger heals if that makes sense so you get the AP the magic is it's just an all round really really good item and but because Ardent was so so strong um, this item just flew under the radar you know because because Ardent was just superior um, to rush and then you didn't need chalice at all because um, you didn't need bigger heals because you just 
place to heal on them, and then they heal up from Ardent Sensor. That's why Ardent was so dominant, you know, in the last couple of patches. But now it's finally dead. Makes you makes you glad it's dead because you know champions like Janna, um, what's another one? Janna, Lulu. You know, those are the two the two big big ones. They they can't just sit there and, and spam shield and then win the game. You know. But even even then, um, it, when Ardent was really really strong, um, you still needed to. You still needed to have a have a good ADC. Like even if you first pick Janna and they pick like, Jin. Like what the hell? Why why are you gonna pick Jin with Janna? Pick bloody Thresh or you know, something like that with with Jin, you know. But some ADCs are like oh yeah he's picked Lulu. I'm gonna pick Cogmore or Twitch or Tristana or whatever you know. Some people just they're yeah, good brain dead, but it's fine. Everyone flashing over the walls of flash party here. <coughs> but yeah, Karma, look for the rise in Karma, guys. Karma's getting really, really good. I know I should be talking about more about what I'm doing. Um, but, uh, yeah, sorry, I've just been talking about the meta and things like that and items. Let's get into the game anyway. So, I'll talk a bit more about what I'm doing and my decision making and my build and things like that. So, I'll get away from the gold. I've got my I've got my Athenes, right? I haven't upgraded this fully, my Frostfang, because I haven't needed to. Right now, since it got buffed, you get 10% cooldown reduction. Um, oh, it gives 50% base mana regen too. Um, so they gave it extra AP and cooldown, if you guys didn't know. So that by itself is just really strong. And then the passive, I mean, Queen's Tribute gives the most amount of gold. Um, although it's still on a timer. Um, like if you kill... Uh, when you trigger... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so when you upgrade it, yeah, yeah, you don't have to put up with these stupid bloody, um, ah, shit, the, st the stupid, you know, if you kill a minion, it's disabled sort of shit. Okay, I died. They just need to run away, kite back. Go, motherfucker. Does he not know that, like, if Fizz had a ward, just put it over the ward and then cure him, he's dead? Yeah, I, oh, surely he'd be dead. You know, we're back. We're back. What have I got? Bought my mobies. I should have bought Sightstone before all this shit, to be honest. Like, it's 18 minutes into the game, and we don't really have enough vision. But in saying that, I am buying a lot, and I mean a lot, of control wards. I think at the end of this game, I had, like, uh, what was it, like, 15 control wards or something like that. Um... Yeah, that's a lot of control wards, you know, and, and the game wasn't terribly long either. I mean, 18 minutes of the game, so it's 34 minutes. I mean, that's a lot of control ward, that's a lot of gold, it's a lot of vision control. Um, but I should have had a sightstone and I should have been warding earlier. Maybe maybe I should have got sightstone before the things. So here's the things, right? So 25% of the pre-mitigation damage dealt with the champion is blood charges up to 161. Healing or shielding another ally consumes charges equal to 100% of the shield or shield value healing the ally for that amount right so you can see already why this item is getting used like i mean look 30 ability like all the stats it gives plus two passives like dissonance as well gain five ability power per 25 percent base mana region you have so at the moment that's 35 um i mean 35 ability power gives you a bigger shield and a little bit more damage but you know i mean you mostly want AP. You, the reason why you'd stack AP is for the for the shields, basically late game, because you put about three points in your Q for laning phase, and then you then you max E. So that's why you, that's why you, you that's the, you know that that's why it's good. Oh, Kate gets caught. She's fucked. What can I protect her? Oh, Chanel. I flashed because I thought Pantheon was just going to jump on me and then go after Kate after that. Electionary. Oh, he gets a mean flash tone. So we pick people out quite good here. My shield's on cooldown. Oh no, here we go. Israel got really strong in the early game. He, he actually played the early game and how it, Israel was supposed to play the early game, which is really good to see. And he did really well at um, you know, shutting that Chogarth Ch 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 down in the early game. Don't do it, Fizz. Bugger off. And we just need to run away at this point. 
I don't know if this game got close or not. I, I can't remember, but um, I just remember it being a really, a really good game, full of you know vision and, and things like that. So that's why I picked it. I might actually can I fast forward? I forgot. Oh, not like that. Oops. Uh, what what are the buttons? Oh, plus right. Of course it is. So I might actually fast forward. I don't want to just make you guys watch the whole entire game. That would be just so boring. It's probably boring already because I'm, I'm like I just woke up. Um, I thought I'd make a video. Had some time this morning, so. So we're ping and bang. Uh, we don't have a mount mountain drake. See, I'm just getting vision control. I think I've got my sight stone now, so. So I've got. Uh, yeah, I do have it. I do have it. Now I got the forgotten idol because I'm going for redemption. I don't need iron sense of this game. Not really. It would be good for like Israel and the UK, but. Jump and bearing. Notice that Shen is totally, totally out of position. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Now we have to go off Baron because we've got no one to face tank. Now Kate's going to get absolutely destroyed. Now we have to run away. Now they could, they could probably do. Oh, Fizz is coming up. Like they could have probably. Oh no, they couldn't dump Baron. We have got too much hope. Now Pantheon's coming around the corner. See, I've got to keep wards. I've got to keep wards right here. Right there. And around here. Get a ward in here. Especially here. Pantheon can come from either side. And fuck, totally just fucks up. Pushing our mid lane. Don't get pushed in. This is the key tower not to lose. Don't lose this tower. Um, this, to this tower allows them to push mid. And then the minions, you know, they go all the way up to here. And so we have to clear minions from all the way back here, rather than rather than you know towards the center of the map, which means they can push barons so much easier um, if they if they push the lane. But you know, I, I'm, we're actually with 4k gold up. I thought we'd be uh, more gold up than this at this point in the game. I thought we were doing a lot better. But you see, it's mostly Israel doing all the damage. You know, Shen's just building full tank, but I mean, he's only got a four mil. He he needs some major resist because you know the Zyra Cho, this Fizz, you know. Even Ash's ult does magic magic damage, you know. I thought Ash would have ulted me there for a pick. I was actually quite scared. But no, they waste two ults on Israel. Why would you pick Israel out of out of all target? I mean, yeah, he's strong, but I mean, the odds of you hitting him are, are quite low. Shin goes in. Go Shin. I blew this guy's flash so many times this game. With my with my W, I don't. I don't all I do in a team fight. My goal is to make sure Pantheon can't double my ADC. Second goal, um, when Cho uses his stupid righteous glory, make sure he doesn't. Um, make sure he can't get right into the middle of my team and slow my entire team. So that's why I Q him to stop his slow, his righteous glory, and then and then W try and um, uh, W to uh, eventually stun him. Kate's in a really, really bad position here. Why would you stand on the enemy side of the fucking map uh, when we're getting Baron? Why don't you just come over, come over the side with your team, and then we can get Baron together. Standing over here is just fucking stupid. So we get Baron, but our ADC dies, so we can't. We lose a minute on pushing with Baron. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, it's actually not that long. 20 seconds. Okay. So she'll be up by the time we run backs and gets out back out into lane. She'll be back, but still, she shouldn't have died. Oh, my mouse is stuck. Here we go. She's really low on farm. I just noticed that, like 137. Like this is just like plat elo, man. Like 137 farm at fucking 24 minutes. Are you serious? Like no wonder she's only got a shiv and an IE and boots. Like now she's going looks like for a uh, bloodthirst. I'm guessing. Personally, I would have just gone crit, but whatever. Oh, what's she running? Is she running? Uh, how do I find out what? Um, how do I find out what um, mastery she's running? Is that further? I oh, know it's dragon. Uh, oh, I think she's running warlords. She must be running warlords, is she? Because if you're running warlords, you don't need the uh, life steal. You know, you just go triple crit, or maybe. Even some penetration if you really had to. I don't. 
We're going for this tower. We're sieging this tower with Baron, right? So what I do, I just shield my whole team. Because what it does is make it scares them off. It makes them think, oh shit, we can't engage. They've got the shield. Things like that. Just mind games. And then Cho's like way out of position. I thought we could catch him, but not the case, obviously. And then Kate, for some reason, is still here. See this fucking dumb bitch, like... Oh, man. It's just it's such a cancer, man. Like, she got caught so many times. Like, no wonder she's not getting any items. Gets caught all the time. Such a struggle. And, like, I know I'm doing my part by, you know, peeling when, when I need to and... Um, you know, keeping up the vision, like the pink wards and stuff like that. Like, there's vision everywhere through the jungle. We're, like, we're sieging top. There's vision top. You know, if we're sieging bot, there's going to be wards in here if we siege bot and break this tower. Speed this up again for you guys. Must be getting bored. Okay, where are we at? So you see how we're sieging bot? Uh, one second. Do I have any stacks in my sight stone? I don't. Oh, I've got... Okay, I'll just back it up for. Had one. So, pingy mid, right? Is there where I can move the chat? I just want to see who's pinging. Uh, back to me. Back to me. There we go. So, pinging back... Going back to mid. Keeping up vision on the sides. See how I ward both sides. Ward, I ward both sides. I ward this bush. See, choke us in the bush. If I didn't ward here and you know we're sieging up here and, and then Cho'Gath Righteous Glory you know charges at us, Pantheon ult, we could be in a really really bad spot. So see just like this. Use my redemption straight away. Kate stands outside like a fucking stupid bitch. And then we're sieging again. No one dies. Machine goes in on Pantheon. What I'm trying to do is uh, if Shin taunts, I'm trying to W them. Look at this, like, look at this clutch shit. Fuck off, Fizz. I made a mistake here, man. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like oh yeah, everyone's gonna jump on Ash. <laughs> Shen's gonna jump on Ash, nah. Straight onto the Chogar. So, you know, mistake by me. Well, mistake by a few. That was probably really, really bad, to be honest. Like, Kate, you know, for the longest range ADC in the game, uh, to be standing all the way up like that and getting hit by that fizzle like every single time. How, how many deaths now? Fucking five, you know? Like, uh, it's just... Like, how many times do you have to get caught to realize that you need to get back and protect yourself a bit more? <laughs> just, I guess I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Nothing should really surprise me, you know, in the ELO that we're in, that we're in you know. Um, I think my MMR has dropped some shit, like... So like maybe maybe even high gold low play it's at the moment so i shouldn't really be expecting anything more than uh really stupid shit again warding the side uh just see what my items are so i've got the redemption got three three controllers every time three controllers every single time see pantheon alts oh, i want to go back pantheon alts and as soon as i see him coming down i put my redemption so by the time he lands and jumps on someone Someone gets, is going to get a heal. I don't know if you guys saw that. Let me, let me just go back 15 seconds. I've been talking a bit too much about shit. See, I, I get hit by a stun. Pantheon ults, I place my redemption straight away. So, that when he does land, he takes some damage. My team, um, you know, they get healed for any damage that they had. And then we can re-engage. And then because of his stupid fucking ult, he dies. But my build is basically primed around, um, you know, defending against their carries like Fizz and... Pantheon and Cho, like, not letting them get in, not letting them get past Shen. Which is a stupid idiot, man. Just like, wait for some minions. <coughs> so at least we've got our basically two ADCs, which is really good. Now we can turn on Baron, they've lost two, they've lost their top and their jungler. So, again, straight on the Baron. Use my Mantra, mantra Shield, Mantra E. Placing walls outside the pit, we should get this quite easily. Straight back to base. Straight back out. So using Baron, we want to push the base. Again, look at my build. Three control wards. Always three control wards. Sitting on the forgotten, uh, forbidden idol. Um, that, that'll be towards the art of the sensor. But see, you notice how I get it late game. You know, like it's it's a third, one, two, three, a fourth item. 
Um, so it's like a late game last item. I think Art and Sensor now is better later rather than, you know, rushing it early. So it's an item you get after, you know, like a locket or a, um, a themes or whatever like that. 30% attack speed later in the game is, is way more valuable than, you know, 5 damage on hit early. So anyway, let's continue. See how we're pushing pushing bot side and I'm trying I'm gonna get some try and get some wards down in this area here. And maybe over here. So Cho's already there. Get some wards in the jungle so that we can transition across here um, while Shen's pushing and they can't. Although I could have got a better ward, but I but I didn't. Oh let's slow that down a bit. Where am I? I'm right there. Okay. So now I'm just gonna quickly just so Shen's not alone, they don't all collapse on I'm just gonna make myself available to transition, yeah. They engage, so I place my redemption straight away. And then they manage to counter the Fizz engage. Panthon goes on me, so I, I match with W. Get some health back. And then Shen's already on them, you know. So I'm just gonna keep speeding up Shen, so there's always that threat of the taunt. So when they cause when you see a shield on the tank, you're like, ah oh, fuck. Again, jump over the wall and uh, W Pantheon, he just um randomins. Can't get away. Can't cannot get away from that. We want to get the uh, inhib down. So let's game over. Ace them in the base. But you see here, you know, cam is so much fun to play. I don't, if you guys play support like at all, or or if you play ADC and like, you know, you got your favorite supports that you're like playing with. You know, cam is cam is up there. You know, cam is really good. Especially the fall of Arden sensor, Janna nerfs. Um, also, Lulu doesn't be benefit as much from from Arden sensor anymore. Um, she's still really good, she gives an attack speed, steroid, and, you know, shield, um, that sort of thing, so, she's still really good, and she's really good against assassins, um, but I think, I, I think Karma's just really good at objectives, and team, team objectives, and team fights, and that sort of thing in general, um, so I'm gonna keep playing her, uh, or, and Aurelia, I'll, I'll probably just, um, I'll probably try and play a bit more Aurelia, and, uh, release another Aurelia gameplay. I know I haven't been uploading like I said I was going to upload like a couple few, uh, couple times a week or something, but, but I you know I haven't been able to do that, so that's unfortunate. But um, I'll leave you guys with that. I mean, uh, sorry if I didn't like explain things well. I just wanted to I just wanted to make a video just so you guys know I'm still alive. Um, and yeah, I know it's not Aurelia as such, but um, most of the, my subscribers and people that watch the video, you know, they're, they're, they're Aurelia players, not really support players, so. Um, if this isn't really a video that you like, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to share it because Karma's, Karma's honestly, she's got, she's coming on the rise. I think she's going to be really, really good this, this patch, not top tier, um, but, but certainly better than what she has been. She's been really situational for such a long time, well, ever since Ardent sort of really, really got popular. She's been really situational, uh, you know, bad at low elo, really good at high elo, um, well, better at not really good at high elo, but better at high, high elo. Uh, but now I think he's going to be a bit better with the fall of Arden sensor. So when you go, anyway guys, that wraps up that video. Uh, well, I hope, hope you learned something or enjoyed the video at all. Or <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to make a video, guys. You know, um, If I had it my way, I'd be making videos every day. Um, that's what I really want to do, so... Hopefully I can make some more in the future and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Yeah.